hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time clicking on my video hey y'all hey my name is Raquel but please call me Ray on this channel we intentionally do all things budgeting including budgets with me cash envelope and sinking fund stuffings and the also fun savings challenges so if this type of content interests you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love for you to join the savers family now before we begin I would like to say a hello to all of my new subscribers guys thank you guys so much for joining the savers family I truly appreciate it now today guys we will be doing my May week three check-in so let's get started <music> guys let's go ahead and move to the calendar view for May and what we're going to do first is go ahead and track all of my bills that were paid between the 15th and the 21st of this month now I did have a lot of bills that were paid so let's go ahead and and track those so my Roth IRA um, contribution came out on the 15th we had Quicksilver that I paid, Netflix was paid, insurance was paid, my student loan was paid, my personal loan was paid, my cell phone was paid, and Epidemic Sound was paid. So those were all the bills that were paid between the 15th and the 21st. Now, the next thing we're going to do, guys, is track my cash envelope purchases that I made for the month. And I did <laughs> not for the month before the 15th through the 21st. And I did do a lot this time. So let me go ahead and pick um, pull out my tracker. I keep this in my purse and let's go to the different dates. So let's move this out the way. So the first expense we have is on the 15th. And I actually had to go to Walmart and do my grocery shopping for the two weeks. And I actually spent $193.81. So we're going to put that right there. And then on the 15th, I actually um, had to use funds out of my miscellaneous envelope. And it was for $11.46 to Kroger's. And you'll see why I had to use money out of my miscellaneous envelope when we go to my actual check-in breakdown. Next, on the 15th, I spent um, $11.91 out of my household envelope. I had to get some, um, some laundry beads. So that was at Walmart as well for $11.91. And then... Later on that afternoon, my um, grandson actually spent the rest of the weekend with us, and I actually took him to this place called Learning Express. Um, he's been doing pretty good in school, so I treated him a little bit. Um, and you know what? I didn't write this one down, so give me one moment. It was for um, $29.54, and he got him some little... Um, some little learning toys and stuff there but that place is expensive i don't know if you guys have a learning express in your area they have a lot of nice um learning games but it's expensive and they have a lot of like regular toys and stuff as well then on the 15th g mini crickets here we go again on the 15th i spent money out of my allowance because me and the um, G kid went to a McDonald's. So I'm going to put that right there. And then that evening, we had Roosters, which is a chicken place. And there I spent $34.41. And, um, and that is out of my dining out envelope. And we're just going to put this one down here. Then um, on the 16th, which was that Sunday, I had to go to, um, what is it, Target to get a couple personal things. And I spent, this is the 16th. The 16th is going to be 
all messed up here, but whatever. As long as it's being tracked. I spent $22.44 out of my personal envelope. And then on the 16th again, I spent, let's see, eight, $8.07 out of my allowance. I got me some um, canes for lunch. That's a chicken spot. So we're going to put this off to the side here. And then last but not least, on the 16th, um, Romina Rosa had came out with her new um, budgeting kits for July. So, of course, I had to um, get my sticker kit for um, July. So that was $27.49 out of my home and planning envelope. And then on the 17th, I had to get gas. So I spent $30 and that is it. So next, what we're gonna do guys is go ahead and count our no spends from the 15th through the 21st. Guys, you know what? I still have two more transactions to, um, to put down here. Um, on the 20th, Let's see, I actually got pieces and subs for my family. That came up to $33.99. And then last but not least, on Friday, Friday is Treat Myself Day. I got me a green tea from Panera Bread. Um, that was $2.29. And then I got a um, breakfast burrito from McDonald's for a dollar. So that was $3.29. Now we can go ahead and do our no spends. So let's see. Spent on the 15th, spent on the 16th, spent on the 17th. The 18th was a no spend day. I don't think I did too good this week. The 19th was a no spend day. The 20th was not and the 21st was not. So let's go ahead and count up all my no spends for the week of 515 through 521. One, two, two no spins. Okay, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is turn to my actual weekly check-in. Okay guys, we're at my weekly check-in. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick is go ahead and put down all of my categories and the amounts that I started with for the week of the 15th. Okay, guys, we are back and I have my um, cash envelope categories um, noted and the amounts that I replenished those with on the 15th. And these amounts have to get me through from the 15th through the end of the month. So starting off with groceries and groceries, I spent one hundred ninety three dollars and eighty one cent at Walmart. And since we round up, because I do the $1 and $5 savings challenge, that actually left me with $0. Dining out, let's see here. For dining out, let's bring my calculator over a little bit. We spent, well, we started with 100. We spent 34.41 at Roosters, but we round that up to 40 because of my challenge. And then we spent 33.99 at Little Sicily's for pizza and subs. So we round that up to $40 as well. So we spent $80. So that leaves me with $20 in our dining out envelope. Next we have personal care. Personal care, we spent $22.44 at Target. And we didn't spend anything else. $22.44. And we only had $30 in there. And the change goes to my leftover savings challenge. So that leaves us with $0 remaining for my personal care envelope. Grandkids, um, we went to Learning Express and spent $29.54. We started with $30 in the envelope. So that left us with $0. Household, let's see. We spent 
91 cent at Walmart for some laundry beads. And we have to round that to $20. So um, 30 minus 20 leaves us with 10 for household. Miscellaneous, for miscellaneous, we only spent one time and that's when I had to go to Kroger's because see here, I ran out of money on the 15th in my grocery envelope. So when I had to go to Kroger's to pick up a few things, I had to get it out of my miscellaneous envelope because I only use my miscellaneous envelope when I have no more cash in my other envelopes. So at Kroger's, I spent $11.46. And again, we round that up to 20 because of my $1 and $5 savings challenge. So that takes us to 20. 30 minus 20 leaves me with $10 in miscellaneous. And next we have gas. Gas, I spent $30 on was, what day was that? The 17th. And spent $30. And that leaves me with $30. And then allowance. I spent, I spent a lot in allowance. Give me one moment. So I spent $9.67 at McDonald's. I spent $8.07 at Kane's. And I spent $3.20 nine cent at mcdonald's and panera bread twenty one dollars and three cent and guys when it comes to my allowance i do not put anything um any ones or fives into my savings challenge i just keep that and roll it over so and i actually had um i have fifty dollars so i'm going to have to correct this too give me one moment okay guys i've gone ahead and um corrected my allowance amount like I stated before um, when it comes to my allowance this $20 right here is brought over to the next two weeks um, so I had $20 I actually added 30 so that gives me $50 for the next two weeks and 50 minus 21 is 29 and I actually while I was off camera not having my little lines here was driving me crazy so I went ahead and added those as well next we have home and planning home and planning um, I spent 27 49 getting my budget stickers for the month of July so we rounded that off to $30 and that leaves me with $40 left in my home and planning envelope. So, so far I still have 20 plus 10, 20. <laughs> plus 30 plus 29 plus 40. I still have $139 to get me through from the 22nd through the 31st of the month. But guys, that is it for this check-in. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you comment below. How are you doing with your budget and your weekly check-ins? Let me know how you're doing. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, please make sure that you hit the um, subscribe button before you leave. And to all my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support and for all of your encouraging words that you've been putting down in the comments section. I truly appreciate it. But with that, I'm going to end this video. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless. Bye, guys.